students at the University of Arkansas conducted a thermal imaging survey at Collins Mounds, an archaeological site once used as an ancient ceremonial center. Although no archaeological features other than five mounds are visible on the landscape, a magnetic radiometry survey across the northern portion of the site revealed the footprints of a number of structures that once stood both on and off of the mounds. By conducting the thermal survey, we aim to produce a complementary data set. Due to their composition and moisture content, materials on and below the ground surface absorb and emit radiation at different rates, hypothetically allowing archaeological features to be made visible in thermal imagery. Data was collected by mounting the thermal camera on an octocopter, which allowed for precise control of the flight path and speed of the craft. Targets were placed throughout the survey area to aid in georeferencing the acquired imagery. Each target was mapped using high accuracy GPS so that they could be anchored with real world coordinates during image processing. One of the targets shows up as a black X along the left side of this thermal video clip. Individual frames were extracted from the video and stitched together in Photoscan software by matching common features found in overlapping images similar to how panoramic pictures are made. But PhotoScan allows us to go further by building a point cloud from these features and constructing a 3D mesh from which mosaic orthophotos and 3D digital elevation models may be derived. And here is our completed orthophoto. Many linear and rectilinear patterns are evident in the imagery. In order to better analyze the features, let's compare it to the magnetometry data. Here we see the thermal imagery on top and the magnetometry data below, with each showing the same area of the site. Although at first glance the thermal data look less impressive than magnetometry, they actually yield useful information that facilitates interpretations of both data sets. For instance, there is a square-shaped anomaly that is clearly visible in both data sets. This anomaly represents architecture associated with an ancient mortuary house. In addition, there is a cool patch in the thermography that coincides with an architectural element seen in the magnetometry data. This anomaly has been interpreted as a possible extended entranceway, also associated with the ancient mortuary structure. Although excavation of mounds, such as those at Collins, was once a common practice in archaeology, ethical, legal, and economic factors prevent this practice today. Not only would an excavation like the one shown here be incredibly time consuming and expensive, it would completely destroy that part of the site. Non-destructive remote sensing methods are increasingly being implemented in archeological survey. The primary advantage of using thermal imagery is that the data can be collected and processed in substantially less time than traditional archeological geophysics. Pairing modern lightweight Thermal cameras with aerial platforms like UAVs make such investigations possible for archaeologists.